Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to the weekly Wednesday live stream. Long time no see, right? <laughs> it's great to be here. And if I could take a moment to thank my patrons, because I do want to let you guys know that for the finale of American Horror Story, I am going to do a special live stream before the finale and after the finale. So thanks to my patrons, I'm going to be able to give away a bunch of of gift cards to you that night. So give a huge thank you to Alicia, Mia, and baby Jalen George, No Tell Hotel, Michael Mullins Wright, Jeremy Oren, Vic and Stark, Scoot Scoot, Kenny Joseph, Shay Sultan, Joseph Anthony, Don Ford, X Misa, Jill Post, Maureen Healy, uh, let's see, Luke Reese, Irish Melly, Ray Myers, Leah Bashford, Rez Ramirez, John Morgan, Connor Thane, Cody Spencer, Suki Fawn, Shane, Mike Gedney, and all of your favorites, Debbie, Ebby, Babebi. <laughs> to become a patron and earn tons of rewards just for a buck, click on the link in the description. So we are here with the weekly Wednesday live stream. Oh, guys, I am loving this season so far. There is a lot of unanswered questions. <sighs> some character flaws, some storyline flaws, and certain things out there that obviously irk us as viewers, but this has got to be one of the best seasons so far in American Horror Story. I mean, you have, oh wow, I mean, you have the return of a bunch of characters, you have the storyline itself, you have the places where it's taking place, you have all the theories out there because this uh, the American Horror Story lore has built for so long now that we can make a bunch of speculations about the past, excuse me, the present and the future. So it's great to have you, Kelly, Don, and BRT and Tammy. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you to everybody who's here. And if you are enjoying the live stream, don't forget to thumb it up. And you do not have to subscribe to Mondays Are Murder. You can definitely still subscribe to Mary Girl Moody. I will have my live stream privileges reinstated. I think we have about 60 days to go now, probably a little less than that. But I will definitely be live streaming back on my other channel, Mar uh, you know, Mary Girl Moody, which YouTube has um, copyrighted a lot of my videos lately, um, especially after I had my copyright strike for live streaming but I disputed all of them and they released my videos. So it's so great. So just um, another two, less than two months and I'll be back to live streaming on my channel, of course. And I am very appreciative to everybody who has been very patient and coming over here to my backup channel to watch the live streams. So um, yeah, I see. Thank you so much, Kelly, for your sweet words. And Dawn is loving this season very much as well. Absolutely. And I'm kind of glad that I'm live streaming over here because I get to be a little bit more intimate with a smaller uh, group of people. On my other channel, obviously, we would have had a ton more people on and I would not have been able to catch up with the chat nor uh, address everybody in the chat as well. So, yeah, I'm so I'm so loving this right here right now. So soon I will be out of copyright strikeville. <laughs> So just some news that is going to be coming up on my channel, Mary Girl Moody. Um, I do have theory videos that are coming out. And actually, if there's a new button now on um, YouTube where you can do a big premiere for your videos. And I will for the Michael versus Skatich, um theory video. That one's coming out as well as um, eight ambiguous questions yet to be answered in American Horror Story Apocalypse. I have character videos for Cody Fern and Billy Porter. I also have a video about the technology behind Miss Mead. And um, this video I had been making for a while, but sadly, hashtag spoiler, Miss Venable was killed before it could come out. So I'm still going to release it because I thought it was a fantastic theory and it was by a fan. And so I absolutely had to show some appreciation by... Uh,
doing the video. And so I also have more funnies coming out as well as a video about round stairs um, all through American Horror Story, that kind of thing. So I'm also going to do a video about my predictions for the final, the finale of American Horror Story. I'll probably be taking some fan theories as well and putting that in a second video. So I do apologize that I've been, I've just been taking a little break, trying to focus a little bit on myself because I really needed it. This body was just falling apart left and right, literally. So now though I feel temporarily duct taped back together and uh, back so that way I can make a lot more great videos. <laughs> Thank you so much, Diana. She says, the group is amazing. The theories are very thought provoking to read and debate in there. Thank you very much. I pref I love them and I apologize that right now, yes, Kelly has said the same thing. The Facebook group has changed. Yes, thank you, Kelly. And um, yeah, it's, it's so crazy because we have about 3000 people waiting to get into the group and we're trying to keep it close, cozy and intimate so we can kind of just get to know everybody before we get in a whole bunch more people because that's really what the group is about. It's about a close group of people who enjoy the same thing, which is American Horror Story. All the drama, the nastiness, the rudeness, we're trying to fish a lot of that out right now. And we really appreciate everybody who is holding on. Your membership will be accepted here soon. And things are just, yeah, going through a very big shift. So we really appreciate everybody who is holding on strong and who is really working hard with us there for the group. We really appreciate it. And everybody who's asking, when am I going to be let in? When am I going to be let into the group? You will just give us a little time. We're trying to fish out, make some more room. I'm trying to find some more admins. And also, I have so many wonderful patrons that are helping to support my channel. And sadly, a lot of my time is going to the group because it is so monstrous right now. And before it gets any bigger and before I can't get a handle on it, I'm just keeping it close, cozy and intimate before I can get some things done. So I just really appreciate everybody's patience in it. Um, James says in relation to AHS, but would you ever consider do, uh, doing writing related videos or story times about your experiences being a published author? Oh, James, I do have a series, um, how to write and publish your novels. Um, you know, actually I should probably do something because I, there's been rejection everywhere. And that's probably the funniest thing. I have my rejection letters. Um, <laughs> I have them framed and put up on the walls and there's so many of them that I don't have enough walls to put them up on. And I am, and my house is, you know, for me, it's huge. It's about 1500 square feet. That's the like, that's huge. So there's not enough room to put up all these rejection letters, even in the bathrooms. So I just keep them nice and close just to remind me that so many people are going to tell you no, but it just takes one person or a lot of confidence to jump into the yes pool. So absolutely, thank you so much for your question. And I probably should um, do something like that. Thank you for your suggestion. Sydney says, new member to the group, love the group, and I appreciate y'all trying to keep it civil. Oh, thank you, Sydney. We really appreciate your patience. A lot of people are sadly being banned right now for offenses that they are not seeing as announcements and we are not letting them back in. So anybody who has been removed from the group, don't be one of those people, just sit back, relax. And the group is gonna go through a transition uh, some more through the next couple of weeks. And while that happens, just, just, just sit back and just be calm and just zip your mouth, throw away the key and just let them get taken out. So we will be back to being that nice, cozy, intimate, sweet group that we were and that all of a sudden exploded from 3,000 to, if we were to accept every single group member, 20,000 literally overnight. So um, thank you all uh, so much for your um, 
uh, comments right here. So, okay, I have a lot of theory videos coming out. I have the live streams. Oh, and also anybody out there who is a patron and are watching, I love you so much. Of course, I love you all, um, all my subscribers and patrons. The patrons, we're, don't forget, we're having a Thursday patron only live stream. And of course, um, I don't know, it's either Friday or Saturday. I'm trying to determine which one is best for patrons as well. Um, we're going to be watching um, some funny videos on YouTube. And um, kind of like going through some AHS funnies and just kind of like having a fun Saturday day where we're all just talking and watching a bunch of funny stuff. So we're going to be doing that for a couple of hours um, this weekend on Patreon. So any of you out there who are patrons, you will obviously have access to those videos. And those live streams are available for patrons that pay just a buck. So if you would like to be a patron, there's a link in the description. Just come right on over and join us. Join us, as they say in the Evil Dead. So, um, uh, no worries, Cora. Cora said, I became a patron today. Oh, Cora, thank you so much. But I put in a request beforehand. Uh, will I be accepted into the group soon? No worries. No. So, Cora, tell you what, no worries. Just through Patreon, will you please send me a message with what your Facebook name is? And I will find it and I will just approve your request because we are about to accept a flood of new members and patrons do get special exceptions in a lot of stuff. Just, I ask my patrons, just please be sweet in the group. You could show some sass and be extra. Just, oh my goodness, there are children in there. Just be good. <laughs> oh, you guys are so awesome. Thank you so much, Cora. You are incredible. So guys, if you are enjoying the stream, don't forget to thumb it up. I would greatly appreciate it. And I will obviously be back next week to do Beyond the Horror. What I'm going to be doing this week is working on a bunch of my theory videos. I have to say that I kind of had, had like a little block there where I just stepped back and I just wanted inspiration to hit me on what would be a great theory video. And I couldn't really think of anything. And of course... Everything has been so crazy here in Austin. We're on a water boil restriction and we have been for a while, like at least a week. And it's been raining nonstop for about a month. And sadly, because it's been raining and stuff, there's no water in Austin. We are at a critical level and they have asked all Austin residents to cut back our water usage by a significant amount, especially when you're a mom of four and you're doing laundry and dishes a lot. It's a lot. So it's, oh my God, it's been so crazy over here. So I sincerely appreciate all of you so much for being so sweet and patient for the theory videos. Hey, what's up, Vicken Targaryen? What's up? It's nice to have you. Can't wait for the final season of Game of Thrones. I wish it wasn't the final season, but hey, I would rather them go out with people clapping rather than being booed off the stage during the finale. So um, yeah, there's a ton of videos coming for you. And of course, guys, don't forget, patrons get the theory videos. Blah. <laughs> patrons get the theory videos exclusively early, um, at least three to two days early, and then they're released on my channel. So um, and if you guys have a suggestion for a theory video, just, you know, send it over, comment it or whichever. Um, you might have more of a better chance to send it to my Mary Girl Moody direct message on Facebook or sending it direct message on Instagram. Um, I'm able to check those a lot more often. I can't respond too much, but... Uh, sadly, because my stupid phone is broken. Oh my God. Let me show you guys real quickly. See how my phone, ah, hold on. So my phone is sadly so broken that oh, see how it's all covered in the blackness right over here. That is uh, from a crack because sadly, I don't know if you can see it, but again, I cracked my phone. And it happened up here and now, yeah, if you put me on there, you can see like a lot of the cracks going through it. So I can't touch anything on the bottom half of my screen. So I can't put in my code. I can't reply to messages. <laughs> I can do some of them, but I'd have to turn the phone a certain way so it would let me. I can't take pictures. There's certain things I can't do right now with my phone. It's... 
I would blame it on my kids, but sadly it was my fault. I had taken it out of its case because I carry my kids' cards. My school will not let uh, parents pick up their kids that day unless they have these orange cards uh, with the names and certain signatures and approvals on them. So I had taken my phone to get them. And, and I'm serious. If you do not have your card that day, they will not let you take your child. I don't give a fuck who you are. <laughs> So I put them behind my phone so because I never forget my phone. So I'll never forget my cards. So when I took my phone out to get my cards, I accidentally dropped. Ugh. So anyway, yeah, it's crazy. So by the way, I'm also going to be posting a butt ton of theory videos. I'm trying to get the funnies done, but I have to sacrifice some videos in order to get other ones done. Thank you so much um, for asking, Melinda. I will get the results next week, so I am very excited. Patrons and admins obviously know what yesterday was, but thank you all so much for asking. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Um, so uh, I will definitely be making a, a bunch of videos, but as you guys know, I take a lot of pride when I post these videos. So I write, so I, whenever I come up with a theory first, uh, a theory video, I start with just the theory. Then I do a lot of research to expand and to prove that I'm right. And there's been a lot of times where I've started theory videos and I've had to stop them and go back and change my theory title because I proved myself wrong. So a lot of these video, uh, most of the, excuse me, every single theory video that I put out has had a lot of tedious research put behind it. Then I write up a script because obviously when I'm talking on the fly, it's much different than when I'm writing. When I'm writing, I can just go back and delete what I said and it sounds smooth and articulate and the verbiage is much better. However, when I'm speaking, it's very hard. There's so many words inside my head that I want to use to describe what I'm talking about. It's hard for me to actually reach on to that word to to use it so I stumble and fall a lot when I'm live streaming, as you guys notice. And it's just because my mind is moving so fast that I'm trying to catch on to their exact words to articulate what I'm trying to say. <laughs> um, so I write a script and then I get the images to go with the video and then I have to record the voiceover and then link it to the images and then sync it with music save it, upload it. And that usually takes about a good two days. If I'm doing nothing else but the video, it takes about a day and a half to two days to come up with a full theory video. So yeah, there's a lot that goes between, that goes behind these uh, awesome videos that I love making for you guys. So just know that I do not just come up with an idea and blindly make a video and push it out there. I put a lot of thought. Um, oh man, I put a lot of research behind this because I have to go back and watch the episodes, hear what has to be said, um, all that stuff. And I have to be ready to um, quote where examples came from and things like that. So just, I love um, being that extra in my theory videos. I wanna, um, I have to be extra in order to show you guys that this is why I, I think it. So I just love you all. Yeah. Thank you all so much for enjoying them and for requesting them because I do love making them. And when American Horror Story Apocalypse ends, I will not be done with theory videos. I will still be making them. And, and I am so excited, guys. I, uh, on the, on the, <laughs> I want to say on the fly, but it isn't on the fly. For the past four weeks, I have been working on my version of American Horror Story, which is called Mortuary. And I've been breaking it down into two sections, one with episode one through five, and then the next section with episode six through maybe like 11 or 12. So I've got characters, I've got actors, and I'm going to break it down in a video of who would play what and what the storyline is and break it down via each episode for you of what I would write for American Horror Story Mortuary. And I am going to ask that everybody helps me make it go viral because I really would love to be a writer for American Horror Story. I do not think that I am that brilliant, that sassy, or that cunning, 
but I seriously believe that I can add a great fresh twist on their, on their twists and their seasons. I mean, Ryan Murphy is going to be gone, obviously doing Netflix. So they're going to need some new blood. And this is blood that I am willing to slit and shed for American Horror Story. So I'm definitely making all the theory videos and showing all the love because you know Ryan and the writers, they all pay attention to that. And I am working really hard to gather their attention. So Twisted is asking if I can review The Haunting of Hell House on Netflix. Okay, so. Oh no, Twisted. Crap, I was gonna binge watch that. I, but I ended up, I was coming up with so many of the theories that I decided that I uh, would uh, make all these great new theory videos for AHS, but I do want to binge watch Hill House. So I promise you, I will cut out time to watch, I don't, I guess it's like a 10 episode series or something. I will try to watch two episodes a day and uh, I will definitely try to do that because I, it, you are not the first person, Twisted J, that has asked for the review of that. And I do promise you, I will absolutely um, do that review for you guys. So thank you very much for your sweet words, Melinda and Vicken and everybody for, um, you know, your sweet words in the comments. I really greatly appreciate that. Um, all right, so soon I will be wrapping up the live stream, maybe in about like 10 minutes. Um, I'm gonna be doing again, a patron only live stream today for my patrons and then again for the weekend. And probably again on Sunday, because I think my patrons and I are going to start doing the Sunday catch-ups just for patrons now. Um, so I said, I, thanks to you guys, I have a lot more patrons. And if you have any suggestions as to the kind of rewards you would like to see or have, just let me know. I do have a reward coming up for my patrons and my subscribers that I can say now that I'm very excited about. Uh, my husband bought me a bunch of mystery DVDs and a lot of them were duplicates of DVDs that I already had. And, you know, I don't want to sell them or anything. So I thought the best thing would be to repackage the duplicates like, you know, um, you know, Tootsie, uh, The Goonies, The House on Haunted Hill. I mean, they're good movies. They're they're actual good movies. They're not uh, movies that you've never heard before. Low, low F grade movies. These are actually great movies that I have duplicates of. And I thought, what would be better than to send mystery DVDs to my patrons and to my subscribers? So I also have the same thing with books. A lot of my Stephen King novels, I have upgraded to first editions or to hardbound, nicer editions. So I have a ton of paperbacks. I have a ton of hardbound editions. And I just have a bunch of duplicate young adult and horror novels. And I thought, what would be best to than to send you guys out there a bunch of mystery packages of DVDs and books? Now, I do promise you it will not be something, you know, like disgusting, poor, something pornographic, something that you would need to report to the police. You know, if that's the kind of thing you want, you might need to go take a tour on the dark web for, for that. Wrong channel. <laughs> I'm gonna send you awesome stuff. Um, I am making sure though that th the mystery DVDs, the ones that are duplicates, I obviously don't wanna send you something that won't work. So I am making sure that some of them, that they obviously, um, um, the ones that don't come from my collection or the ones that I'm positive do work. I'm, I'm going to watch them first before I send them out to you. I don't want to send you a mystery packet of DVDs and it'd be a mystery of, are they going to play or not? So <laughs> the mystery is what are the titles? <laughs> not, is it scratched, you know, to the core and I can't freaking watch it. So absolutely. Melinda, I know, I, I believe Melinda's a patron. So that is coming up for you guys as well. I'm, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm working on um, the contest for it. Um, It'll be a contest for the subscribers, but it's going to be something different for patrons, um, sadly, because it can only be U.S. contest only for the mystery books and DVDs. I do not. I, I'm so sorry, guys. I'm not able to afford to send these um, internationally. However, um, 
I, I would be more than, um, excuse me. However, if you are international, Beyond the Horror, the, the finale for American Horror Story, uh, the live after show, and then the pre-show that I'm going to do, I'm going to be giving away a bunch of Amazon gift cards that I've already purchased. So all I need is your email address and it's sent to you. You get it right then and there. And you can go on Amazon in your country, it doesn't matter, and you can purchase whatever you want. So um, if you are not able to uh, win the mystery DVDs and movies, or excuse me, DVDs and uh, books, not DVDs and movies, so that's the same thing, sorry. You can definitely come to the season finale of American Horror Story here on my channel, um, have fun in the contest and win a bunch of gift cards because I'm gonna, uh, it's gonna be a great, uh, it's, I mean, I think I have nearly 40 something patrons and I, uh, I think it's like at about 200, $250 a month. So I'm gonna take all of that money and put it into gift cards and I'm going to just give it out to you guys. So there's going to be tons of opportunities for you guys to win. Oh, and I apologize. I might not use it all, obviously, because I'll use some of that to pay for the shipping for the mystery DVDs and stuff like that. Unless my husband will fund it. He's just supreme like that. Anyway, I'm going to take this, uh, the patron money and just purchase a bunch of different amounts of Amazon gift cards and just right then and there during the finale, just give them all the way to you guys. So I am really excited about that. So definitely come here as well for, well, obviously I'll be live streaming here. So if you want to subscribe to Mondays or Murder, you are very welcome to. Um, and Mondays or Murder will definitely resume as soon as American Horror Story Apocalypse ends. So theory videos, true crime videos, and other horror videos will be posted here. I'm also going to review the second season of 911. I just sadly do not have enough time to review 911 American Horror Story and do all the theory videos and the after shows, the live streams, all that stuff. I really wish I had enough time to review 911. <laughs> um Maybe I'll just like do short videos or something like that. But um, 911 um, reviews will definitely get done. I'm going to definitely still follow Pose and still review the stuff that Ryan Murphy puts out. So regardless, guys, um, American Horror Story will be over in three weeks, but this channel will not. There's still tons of content that will come to you because I just I love doing this. I love taking care of my kids. I love being a mom. I love being a wife. I love taking care of my house like it's a part of the family, and I love doing this. And thankfully, I am in a very blessed situation where I can do it with you guys and my husband, and I'm just, ah, I love doing it, and I love you guys. So thank you all so much. Um, Vicken says, I'm Vicken Stark on your patron. Oh, my God. Vicken, here, this is automatically earned you moderator status. I'm so glad you told me that because now, Vicken, you are a moderator on the channel. And Vicken, if you wouldn't mind, as soon as my channel, Mary Girl Moody, is reinstated for live streaming, please uh, comment again on there that you are Vicken Stark from Patron, and I will make you moderator there as well. So, congratulations, Vicken. Okay, so um, Thomas Perry asks, you think episode nine will go back to the apocalypse? I do hope so. I want us to go back to the current time, Thomas Perry, at some point. I mean, I want to know who's leading the cooperative. I want to know, I mean, because I have a theory right now that Emily and Thomas and those that were poisoned in the outpost, that Michael is going to use them to rise and to kind of like be part of his army of the dead to... It's, it'll be like Michael against the witches. So, yeah, I I really hope they go back, Thomas, to the current time in episode nine. So it's not a thing that I think. It's that I hope, I hope. <laughs> oh, well, Vic, and you are very welcome for the warm welcome. You are absolutely awesome. Melinda, you are so sweet. Thank you so much for your sweet comment. Um, let me see. I'm just trying to back up okay so twisted jay did say how haunting of hill house is really good 
you know, Twisted J, you are not the only person who has said that. So I definitely think that after this, I'm going to start with episode one. And I will do that for you guys if that's what you are asking for. Absolutely. I love good, creepy stuff. I don't like torture porn movies like the Saw, um, Hostel, uh, that kind of stuff. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, you know, if that's what your kind of movie is, absolutely. And I've seen those movies before. There's absolutely nothing wrong with them. Uh, they're just not my thing. I just really love getting into a good storyline with good character development. And as long as it has those two elements for me, uh, if it's a slow burn or whichever, I will enjoy it. So absolutely. Thank you so much, Twisted J, for your suggestion. I will uh, definitely go do that. Um, so, all right. Let's see. Uh, LOL, mystery as if they work, says Cora. <laughs> yeah. I just don't want that. Oh, Cookie is right here, guys. He's trying to say hi. Hi, baby. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. Thank you so much, Dawn. Dawn is, uh, added Cora to our group. We really appreciate it. Um, Twisted J said that, um, the house, uh, the haunting of Hill house is like AHS with good writing. <laughs> no shade there. <laughs> Oh my God, Twisted J, that was incredible. It's like AHS with good writing. <laughs> you are awesome. I love the shade there. Uh, Twisted J says, it's also one of the only things that has scared me. Oh, yay. Love that. Okay, well, I will definitely go check it out. My dog is literally over here. <laughs> Scratching his butt against my bed. Sadly, during the winter time, he get he gets really itchy along his tail, and he'll scratch his butt on our bed. So he's doing that right now. It also means he needs to go to the bathroom. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the dog out. I gotta get, also get ready for my patron only live stream. And oh, Melinda's Irish Belly on Patreon. <gasps> Melinda, you are, oh, your Irish Melly, you are incredible. Thank you so much for being here. I'm so glad. Um, Cora B says, call 911 with that burn that Twisted gave AHS. <laughs> right? Take them to the freaking burn trauma unit. <laughs> so I'm going to take my baby out real quick and get ready. Uh, with links and stuff like that. And um, I just know that I'm going to be dedicating myself to reviews and theories and all that stuff for you guys, because I love you all so much. Thank you all for being here. I would love to um, give a shout out to people who are here, such as BRT, Cora B, Melinda, Thomas, Twisted J, um, Vicken, and Tammy. And uh, I think Dawn was here. I said Cora B. I know I think I said Melinda. Uh, let's see. Got Twisted J. I got Thomas Perry. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think, yeah, because, uh, because thank goodness. Oh, and Sydney Clark. Um, thank goodness this, um, live stream is a lot more, uh, you know, intimate. So there's not hundreds of people trying to uh, gain, uh, be seen in the comments. So I'm so glad that we were able to, uh, talk guys and live stream today. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you all again for your patience. And it just took me a little bit to kind of know what to really do for this live stream because since FX Plus has released the episodes early, well, sometimes they do, um, I wanted to do the live stream and do it where you guys didn't get spoilers for those of you who don't have FX Plus. So thank you all so much for just bearing with me. As soon as the finale is over, weekly Wednesday live streams will resume back to Wednesday and just because the season is over does not mean the live streams stop. They come back every single Wednesday and they will probably resume back to 9 a.m. Thank you all again so much. I love you all for your support. And don't forget, if you can't become a patron or help the channel financially, don't worry. Just subscribe, um, click the like button or the dislike, whichever. Both of them contribute to the channel greatly and help improve it. And it means more to me than just a million dollars. So thank you all so much. I love you all. And um, 
yeah, y'all have a great day and I will see you all next week. And again, watch out for the theory videos coming for you. And, um, you know, it's my daily thing. Now I have to go to this big window right here and cry while I masturbate. See you guys later.